The second last, Dakota Moret over in front. Prospect is trying to make ground on the outside of Bracklin Princess down out of the final flight. And it's Dakota Moret who's in front. Prospect is putting in her on the near side. And it's Dakota Moret now from Prospectus as they reach the last. Dakota Moret over in front of Prospectus. Inside the last 200 yards now. Dakota Moret, Prospectus closing all the time on the near side and running up to the finish. It's Prospectus and Breen Kane uh, repeating her course victory here. Prospectus gets up to beat Dakota Moret. The second last, Dakota Moret over in front. Prospectus trying to make ground on the outside of Bracklin Princess down out of the final flight. And it's Dakota Moret who's in front. Prospectus putting in her on the near side. And it's Dakota Moret now from Prospectus as they reach the last. Dakota Moret over in front of Prospectus. Inside the last 200 yards now. Dakota Moret, Prospectus closing all the time on the near side and running up to the finish. It's Prospectus and Breen Kane uh, repeating her course victory here. Prospectus gets up to beat Dakota Moret and they're cleared of Bracklin Princess followed in by Zigzag. Coming to the second last, Westbridge with Chambord de Lise racing up on the outside. In third place is Theatre Wine. Westbridge now pressed by Chambord de Lise on the near side as they come down towards the final flight. The pair have kicked away from Theatre Wine. At the final flight now, Chambord de Lise and Westbridge at the final flight. And Chambord de Lise is almost gone. A miraculous recovery by Ruby Walsh, but it cost him uh, any chance of winning. And down at the last was Theatre Wine up to the finish. West Bridge in front, Chambord de Lise to her credit coming, battling back but won't get there. Coming to the second last, Westbridge with Chambord de Lise racing up on the outside. In third place is Theatre Wine. Westbridge now pressed by Chambord de Lise on the near side as they come down towards the final flight. The pair have kicked away from Theatre Wine. At the final flight now, Chambord de Lise and Westbridge at the final flight. And Chambord de Lise is almost gone. A miraculous recovery by Ruby Walsh, but it cost him. Uh, any chance of winning and down at the last was Theatre Wine up to the finish Westbridge in front Chambord de Lise to her credit coming battling back but won't get there and Westbridge scores from the unlucky Chambord de Lise second and then our Susan and play at midnight and they're followed in by Une Lavandière Break of three lengths, then to Tin Soldier. Coming down to the final flight in Champagne Classic is the leader from Tin Soldier, putting in a run on the outside of Call the Taxi. Down now to the final flight, and it is on the far side, Champagne Classic and Jack Kennedy on the near side. Tin Soldier, Ruby Walsh, inside the last 200 now, and it's Tin Soldier who's in front, racing inside the last 100 yards. Tin Soldier from Champagne Classic as they go towards the finish. Tin Soldier and Ruby Walsh beat off Champagne Classic, clear of call the taxi, and in fourth place is Kilcray Bridge. Break of three lengths, then to Tin Soldier. Coming down to the final flight in Champagne Classic is the leader from Tin Soldier, putting in a run on the outside of Call the Taxi. Down now to the final flight, and it is on the far side, Champagne Classic and Jack Kennedy on the near side. Tin Soldier, Ruby Walsh, inside the last 200 now, and it's Tin Soldier who's in front, racing inside the last 100 yards. Tin Soldier from Champagne Classic as they go towards the finish. Tin Soldier and Ruby Walsh beat off Champagne Classic, cleared of call the taxi, and in fourth place is Kilcray Bridge. Coming there on the near side, Western Goose has headed we small hours. The Pine Martin and Like a Flash come next, and there Crack on Corrie, racing on now towards the final flight. And Western Goose is the leader, a couple of lengths cleared of we small hours as they come now towards the final flight, Like a Flash, and trying to stay on Crack on Corrie. And Sherry Anter is over three to four in front, chased now by Crack on Corrie inside the last 200 yards, and it's Western Goose and Barry Brown in front, chased by Crack on Corrie and Dylan Robinson. Then from the back, it is like a flash. And on the outside, Mount Masada, close for third and fourth, we small hours, is fifth.
Coming there on the near side, western goose is headed with small hours. The pine martin and like a flash come next, and there crack on Corey, racing on now towards the final flight. And western goose is the leader, a couple of lengths cleared of we small hours as they come now towards the final flight, like a flash and trying to stay on Crack on Corrie, and Sherry Anter is over three to four in front, chased now by Crack on Corrie, inside the last 200 yards, and it's Western Goose and Barry Brown in front, chased by Crack on Corrie and Dylan Robinson, then from the back, it is like a flash, and on the outside, Mount Masada, close for third and fourth, we small hours, is fifth. And it's She'll Be All Right now on the near side. In the center, Kilkeeskins first. Think of me on the far side. Kilkeeskins first was a faller there and brought down Cool Craft. And now She'll Be All Right. And Davy Russell comes through to pick it up as they race now with uh, final flight on the far side. Think of me. She'll Be All Right. Think of me. Followed in third place by You Can't Call Her That Who Made a Mistake inside the last 200 yards. And She'll Be All Right now going on a couple of lengths clear for Davy Russell running up towards the finish. She'll be all right from Think of Me. And then in third place, it's all happening in Rambo Will. That'll go to the judge, the third and fourth. And they're followed in by, you can't call her that, behind the winner, she'll be all right. And it's She'll Be All Right now on the near side. In the center, Kilkeeskins first. Think of me on the far side. Kilkeeskins first was a faller there and brought down Cool Craft. And now She'll Be All Right. And Davy Russell comes through to pick it up as they race now with uh, final flight on the far side. Think of me. She'll Be All Right. Think of me. Followed in third place by You Can't Call Her That Who Made a Mistake inside the last 200 yards. And She'll Be All Right now going on a couple of lengths clear for Davy Russell running up towards the finish. She'll be all right from Think of Me. And then in third place, it's all happening in Rambo Will. That'll go to the judge, the third and fourth. And they're followed in by, you can't call her that, behind the winner, she'll be all right. In third place is Black Jewel and then St. Agnes Church and the church gate as they race now towards the final fence. Clontarf and Keith Donahue in front, followed by Cole Vinnie and Dennis O'Regan as they come down towards the final fence now. Clontarf from Cole Vinnie clear of in third place the church gate as they come to the final fence. Clontarf over in front of Cole Vinnie and they're clear of the church gate on the run up towards the finish now and Clontarf is stretching on a few lengths clear as they run up towards the finish, it is Clontarf and Keith Donahue, three lengths in front, followed home by Cole Vinnie and Dennis O'Regan, and they are clear. Clontarf from Cole Vinnie, clear of in third place, the church gate. As they come to the final fence, Clontarf over in front of Cole Vinnie, and they are clear of the church gate on the run up towards the finish now, and Clontarf is stretching on a few lengths clear as they run up towards the finish. It is Clontarf and Keith Donahue, three lengths in front, followed home by Cole Vinnie and Dennis O'Regan, and they are clear of running on to the challenge for the third place, Bally Bryan with the church gate, the church gate probably just holding on for the third, Bally Bryan is fourth. Down to the final fence, simple steps in front. Being pressed again on either side by Larry Capri and going for the inside is Paper Lantern. They come to the final fence now and simple steps on the far side. Paper Lantern, the near side, Larry Capri. And Larry Capri now gets away from it as they run up now towards the final 250 yards. And it is Larry Capri and Danny Hand, a couple of lengths clear, followed home in second place by Paper Lantern, and then Simple Steps. So it's Larry Capri and Danny Hand down to the final fence, Simple Steps in front. Being pressed again on either side by Larry Capri and going for the inside is Paper Lantern. They come to the final fence now, and Simple Steps on the far side, Paper Lantern, the near side, Larry Capri. And Larry Capri now gets away from it as they run up now towards the final 250 yards, and it is Larry Capri and Danny Hand, a couple of lengths clear, followed home in second place by Paper Lantern, and then Simple Steps. So it's Larry Capri and Danny Hand, a quick double for Dermot McLaughlin, as Larry Capri beats in second place. Home is Paper Lantern, and then came Simple Steps, 
and Telenor in fourth. Beginning the run now towards the final furlong and Mystic Theatre coming there strongly on the near side. Creation trying to run on for pressure. After them is Grace Mount as they race well inside the last 200 yards is Mystic Theatre and Patrick Mullins out a few lengths clear of Creation in second and third place is Green Mount as they race up towards the finish. It's Mystic Theatre the leader. In second place Grace Mount and in third is Creation. Fourth is Vanellope and at the finish it is Mystic Theatre and Patrick Mullins will win. Second home is Grace Mount Creation. Vanellope and Mag Brady is fifth. Beginning the run now towards the final furlong and Mystic Theatre coming there strongly on the near side. Creation trying to run on for pressure. After them is Grace Mount as they race well inside the last 200 yards. It's Mystic Theatre and Patrick Mullins out a few lengths clear of Creation in second. and third place is Green Mount as they race up towards the finish. It's Mystic Theatre the leader. In second place Grace Mount and in third is Creation. Fourth is Vanellope and at the finish it is Mystic Theatre and Patrick Mullins will win. Second home is Grace Mount Creation. Vanellope and Mag Brady is fifth. 